In this video, I'll show you how to make a lot of text effects for free. Let's go with the first effect. Video within text. Add any video inside a text. Import your video to the DaVinci Resolve timeline. Once we have the video, we place it on a higher video track, leaving a free track just below the video clip. In video track one, we will place the text. To add a text, we go to the effects menu located in the upper left. We click, we display the toolbox menu, titles. Within titles, we must look for the effect of text or text plus. Both options are correct. We click on the text effect and drag it to the timeline on video track one. Perfect. We adjust the duration of the text clip so that it has the same duration as the video. Once this is done, we deactivate the upper video track to be able to visualize our text. Now we can see the text. Let's customize it. We select the text clip and go to the inspector menu located in the upper right part. We write the text we want. For example, I'm going to write city. We choose a font that we want. I recommend using a thick font. In this way, the video inside the letters will be seen more. We increased the size of the letters so that they take up most of the screen. Perfect. This is important. To make this text effect, the letters must be completely white. Do not modify the color. We reactivate video track two in which we have the video clip. Then we select the video clip in the timeline and we will change the composite mode of this one. Go to the option of composite, composite mode. We scroll all the way down and select the mode foreground. Perfect. Next, we select the text clip. We will also have to change the composite mode of the text clip. Make sure you're in the settings menu and not in the title menu. In the settings menu, we can change the composite mode, go to the bottom and select the mode alpha. We already have our video inside a text. Adjust the position of the video so that it can be seen well. Let's go with the next effect, text with glitch effect. Add a text clip to the timeline, go to the effects menu located in the upper left, display the toolbox section, open effects, and then look for the section fusion effects. In fusion effects, we must look for the effect digital glitch. We select the effect and drag it over the text clip, but how can we check it doesn't let us apply the glitch effect to a text? In order to add the glitch effect to our text, we must create a compound clip. We right click on the text clip and look for the option create compound clip. Now we can apply the glitch effect. Typewriter effect. We go to the effects menu we display the section Toolbox, and we click on Titles. We must add the Text Plus effect. We select the Text Plus effect and drag it to our timeline. Perfect! Now that we have the Text Plus clip, we go to the menu of Inspector. Within the Text Plus effect menu, we can configure and customize our text. Once you've customized the text to your liking, to be able to make the effect of a typewriter, we must modify the option Write On moving this horizontal bar. We place ourselves in the first frame of the text clip like this. Next, we decrease the end value to 0.0, .0 and create a keyframe, clicking on this little diamond. Now, we need to fast forward to the frame where we want the typewriter effect to end. I want it to finish typing right on this frame. We increase the value of end to 1.0, and we will have the finished typewriter effect. Neon text. Next, we go to the Fusion module, clicking on this icon of the magic wand. Now, we will add our text. To add it, we just have to click on the Text Plus icon. When clicked, a text node will appear. In order to see the text in the viewer on the left, we must activate this small circle on the left in the text mode. Now, we're going to create our title. With the text node selected, we go to the Inspector panel, and within the text menu, we can write the text we want. I'm going to write Super Neon. You can apply the neon effect to any font, but I recommend you choose one that's striking. We increased the size of the text so it's not so small, like this. In this text, we have to change the color to black. This text will appear when the neon lights are off. Great, next we'll connect the text one node, like this. We click on this square and we connect it right on the square of the median one node. We already have the first text to use when the neon is off. Now, we're going to create the text with the neon light. The first step, is to duplicate the text. Right-click on the text node, copy, 
and paste. Perfect. We already have the duplicate text. Now we have to connect this new text node. We do it the same as before. Click on the square of the node and connect it with the square of the merge one node. It's time to create the neon effect. The first step is to choose the color of our neon light. I recommend that you use a striking color. For example, I'm going to use a light blue. I think it can look quite good. Next, we click on the text node and press the keys Control Space or Command Space if you're using Mac. By pressing this keyboard shortcut, a menu will appear with the Effects Browser. We must look for the effect Glow. Select the effect and click Add. We see that under the text node, the node with the Glow effect has appeared. We will not modify anything in this first node. We click on the Glow 1 node and press the Control Space keyboard shortcut again. And we add another Glow effect. In this second Glow node, we will modify one parameter. Select the Glow 2 node and go to the inspector panel. In the glow effect menu, we will increase the glow size option. Increase it to a value of 50. This way, we will get this brightness next to the edge of the letters. Perfect. We only have to add the last node. We click on the glow 2 node, press control space, and create a third node with the glow effect. Here we have it, glow 3. We select the node and increase the glow size parameter to a value of 150 or 200. In this way, the neon light will illuminate a larger area. That's perfect. Finally, if you want to increase or decrease the intensity of the light, you can do it in the blend parameter. Now, we just need to add the flicker effect to give it an extra touch. We have to place ourselves in the first frame of the video, in frame zero, and select the merge two node where we can deactivate and activate all the glow effects. We select the merge two node and go to the settings menu. Here, we must create a keyframe in the blend option. To create a keyframe, we just have to click on this little rhombus here. When creating the keyframe, the rhombus will appear in red, and then we lower the value of blend to zero. How can you see? We have to turn the text black with the lights off. We move forward one or two frames. And we create a keyframe in blend again, but this time with the value of 100 to activate the glow effects and turn on the neon light. We go forward one or two frames again, and create another keyframe by lowering the blend value to zero. We need to do this a few times to get the flickering effect of the lights. If you ask me, it's super neon. Cinematic text. We go to the DaVinci Resolve Fusion module and create a text plus note by clicking on this icon right here. Perfect. We're located in the first frame of all, in frame zero. And then we open the inspector menu located in the upper right part. We write the text we want. I'm going to write cinematic text. We modify the font, color, and text to our liking. Great. Once we're done with the text, we'll add the cinematic effect. The first step is to right click on the square where we've written the text and we look for the option follower. We click. Perfect. Then we open the modifiers tab. In here, we must change the option of order. We change the automatic mode for the mode random, but one by one. And we increase the delay value to 2.0. Perfect. Next, we open the menu shading and we scroll all the way down. We display the softness tab by clicking on this little arrow. We create two keyframes at the X and Y values by clicking on these little diamonds. Once we've created the keyframes, we increase the value of both to the maximum at 20.0. Now we can see we've created a blur in our text. Now we just move to the frame where we want our text to fully come in focus and animation to end. I want it to end on this frame right here. To finish the effect, we would only have to decrease the value of X and Y to the minimum. We do not need to click on this rhombus again. It will create the keyframe automatically. Handwriting effect. Go to the Fusion module. We select the median one node and then add a text. We must click on the text plus icon. Perfect. Now that we have a text node, let's create and customize our text. We go to the inspector menu and within the text effect configuration, we write the text that we want. I recommend choosing a font that looks good with the writing effect. We increase the size of the title to our liking. In the layout tab, we can modify the X and Y axis to place the text where we want. I'm going to put 
the title right up here. Perfect. Finally, in the text tab, I recommend separating the letters a bit with the option of tracking. Okay, now I have the text as I wanted. Let's create the writing effect. We select the text one node and go to the effects menu located in the upper left. We open the menu and look for the mask paint. We double click on it so that it connects it directly to the text one node. Great, this step is very important. We must select the node of the mask paint effect and click on this brush icon up here. Our text has disappeared. In order to see the text, we have to go to the Mask tab and activate the Invert box. Now we can see the text again. Next, we click on the Controls tab. Here, we will adjust the characteristics of the brush with which we're going to make the writing effect. We display the option Brush Controls. We must modify the size and softness of the brush. If we place the cursor over the viewer, we see that a green circle appears. This green circle indicates the size of the brush. Currently, it's too small. It has to be the same or larger than the stroke of the letters. I'm going to increase the size of the brush. It's advisable to lower the softness option since 1.0 is a lot. You can lower it to the minimum, although I recommend leaving it with a value of 0.1. Next, we open the menu of Stroke Controls. Here, we're going to modify the Stroke Animation setting. Drop down the options and choose the mode Right On. Perfect. We already have everything ready to make the writing effect. Let's get to it. It's very easy. We place the mouse cursor over the viewer. It's advisable to zoom in the viewer and adjust the text. This will help us to follow the outline of the letters. You can zoom by by pressing the Control key and moving the mouse wheel. Cool. Once we've placed the text correctly in the viewer, we place ourselves at the first letter of all. Left click, hold down. Do not release the mouse at any time until you reach the last letter. Now you just have to follow the stroke of the letters as if you were writing by hand. All right. Once we're done, we see that a bunch of keyframes have appeared. All these vertical lines are the keyframes with the movement of the writing animation. If I play the video, we see that the letter is disappearing. We want the opposite. We want the letters to appear. For the letters to appear, we must deactivate the invert box that we have previously activated. Now, if I play the video, we can see that the lyrics are appearing, but we reach the end of the video and we can't see the entire text. Only a piece of the first letter has appeared. Don't worry, we have to adjust the duration of the animation so that it appears correctly. To do this, we activate the keyframes panel by clicking here. Perfect. This is the keyframes panel. Here, we must display mask paint one, and we also display stroke one. Now, we'll be able to see the keyframes of the animation, these white rectangles, but we can't see them all. There are so many that they don't fit. To decrease the zoom and be able to see them all, click here above and move to the left. We move to the left until we can see all the frames of the animation. Okay, here are all the frames. Now we have to select them all. When selected, they will appear in yellow. We right click on it and look for the option time stretching. We click. Next, we go to the right edge, click and move to the left. In this way, we will decrease the duration of the animation so that it appears complete in our video. Mirror text. Once inside the Fusion module with a text node already created, we must duplicate the text in order to create the mirror effect. To do this, we right click on the text node, copy and paste. We already have our duplicate text. Now to connect the text one underscore one node, we click on this small square and connect it to the square. This way it will automatically connect the node using a merge node. Great, we click on the merge node we go to the inspector menu and in the flip option, we must flip the text vertically by clicking on this icon. Now we will have the second text inverted. We click on this red arrow in the viewer that points up. We click and scroll the text down. You can leave a small space or join the letters completely. Well, we would have already done much of the mirror effect. To show that the text below is a reflection, we can go to the settings tab and reduce the opacity of the text a bit in the option Blend. I'm going to leave it at 60%. Perfect. To modify the shape of the reflection letters, we click on the node with the reflection text. We open the Transform menu and display the Shear section. Then modify the curvature on the X-axis to your liking. 
Perfect. To finish, we're going to create a gradient in the letters of the reflection. We add a mask, but before, make sure that you've selected the node with the text of the reflection. I recommend adding a rectangular mask by clicking on the square-shaped mask icon. Okay, now we move the mask that we've created down. We see that the lower part of the reflection is disappearing. Once we have the letters of the reflection cut, as it appears on the screen, we only have to increase the option of soft edge. We increase the soft edge value to get the gradient effect to our liking. As always, here I leave you with the free DaVinci Resolve course so you can learn a lot of effects, transitions, and many more things. Nothing more for today. See you in the next video.